Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frischette. All right, Ben, how excited are you that Phil is on your side this morning? <laughs> I mean, he's only right 39% of the time. So if he's on my side, what does that say about my skill? Oh, well, we know well, you're a great meteorologist. Well, so. thank you. Yeah. I can tell you it'll be really cold tomorrow. Yeah. So I've got that so going got for that, me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and I can show you col colorful maps on television. Groundhog can't do that, right? <laughs> well, if you look off to the north, you can see where all of our cold air is. It's all bottled up near the Hudson Bay. Those are the actual air temperatures, and I do think some of us get to this level of cold before you even factor in the wind. But of course, it's the wind chill that everybody feels and experiences when going outside. So I do want to focus on that for most of this weather update. And as we think about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, already double digits below zero in Burlington. That's the wind chill by that point. And what's notable about this cold snap is the sub-zero wind chills go all the way down to the New England coast. I mean, it could be feeling like 22 below in Boston by 8 o'clock Friday evening, but that's also when the most intense cold will be over our heads. 30 to 45 degrees below zero in the wind chill department possible. Early Saturday, not looking fun either, but through the day Saturday, we'll eventually get that cold air out of here. It'll be a struggle to get above zero, but I think we do it in the final hours of Saturday, Sunday, looking much better. This morning, not too bad. Teens and 20s on the weather map compared to where we were yesterday, quite a bit warmer, 20 to 30 degrees warmer in the immediate Champlain Valley. But off to the south, it's right around where we were yesterday, so it's not as big of a difference. But still, when you compare it to where we could be and where we will be tomorrow, we'll certainly take that early on this Thursday morning. Few snow showers possible in the north country. Otherwise, the local weather is fairly quiet. We do have a system well off to the south in the deep south in Texas that has brought a lot of wintry precipitation, a lot of ice to the Lone Star State. A lot of problems there, unfortunately, but thankfully it's moving out. Uh, through the course of today. Locally, the weather will be mostly uh, cloudy, mostly quiet. Temperature right around the low 30s. The average high this time of year, 29. And we'll have a round of snow squalls that arrive after dark. First in northern New York, right around 7, 8 o'clock. And then in the Champlain Valley, closer to 10 or 11. It's going to be the kind of situation where not much is happening. And then all of a sudden, the snow will be pouring out of the sky. So if you're on the road and you're caught off guard, it could be quite difficult to travel around. But it's gone by Friday morning. Friday is actually looking like a quiet day, but all the while the wind is howling out of the northwest. Temperatures are dropping below zero and we'll get any lingering clouds out of here for early Saturday. Of course, it's still going to be very cold by that point. How strong is the wind? 20 to 30 miles per hour out of the northwest. So alone, it's not too bad, but it's really the air temperature that tells the story. We start the day below zero and we get colder even as the sun is up. So when you factor in the wind, that's why the wind chill will be between 20 and 35 degrees below zero. So I don't like to tell people what to do, but this is the kind of situation where you want to take it seriously. Limit time outdoors if possible. Saturday evening, it looks to be a little bit better. That high of seven probably happens late in the day. And then by Sunday, it's like a distant memory, close to 40 with plenty of clouds.